getting a lot of questions from you about ERCOT because of the total eclipse that's coming up on April the 8th. Now that's less than two weeks away. So your day is going to go dark. Is your home going to go dark too? No. Solar energy gonna pretty much disappear during the eclipse, right? I mean, it makes sense. So take a look here at the solar output that happened in October when we had that ring of fire eclipse. So it just dropped off the cliff here, right? I mean, no big surprise here. It did bounce back after the eclipse, but solar power is gonna go pretty much the same way here. We're gonna go from 99% of its capacity to less than 8%. So is that gonna be a problem? I don't think so, and here's why. We have all these other fuel types, right? Not just solar. You've got wind, you have batteries, we have natural gas, coal, nuclear power. All of those can make up for the solar power kind of dropping off during the eclipse here. Back to October, you see how close we got here, how, how small the solar energy got, right? We had all this solar and then it just fell apart. But look at all these other fuel sources, they bumped up to make up the difference. So really on average, we didn't really lose a whole lot of power here. So that's why I don't see it being a problem for you. So ERCOT is going to be affected by the eclipse, but it's not going to break ERCOT, right? It's not going to be a problem here. So I say grab those glasses only if they're approved. Enjoy. You also want to go over to Fox Local here on the best way to see it. Mike does a great explainer as to why not everyone's going to see it and why looking down may be the best way to watch the eclipse. And by the way, if you're looking to find those glasses, you want to know which ones are approved. Again, we have that online for you at fox26houston.com and a whole host of information with Fox Local free app to download to your smart TV, Sally.